We are meeting today to work on the new Taschen monograph about your work. And it strikes me that you have put a great deal of energy and effort into this book. May I ask you a little bit about your own sentiment about, about the work on this volume and perhaps what it means to you in some sense? I think in some ways it's my first experience of acting, not just in terms of providing information, selecting images, discussing what is important and why it's important, but to actually group together images and to find visual relationships between drawings and photographs and to try to get below the surface and graphically try to explain what makes the projects tick, what the, the stories, the values, the passions uh, behind the various projects. You've also put a good deal of emphasis in what is a two-volume book, we can speak about that in a moment, but on the relationship between your architecture, your work, and other fields uh, such as art, such as flying uh, machines of various kinds. But that's a constant in your, in your thinking, I think. I think the influences, uh, they are a constant, but perhaps the difference here is that the opportunity to do a separate volume that will link the passion of architecture with the passion for art, painting, sculpture, and objects of design, locomotives, aircraft, automobiles, um, and the passions also that I engage with, whether that's with a bicycle or cross-country skis, to link them up as a narrative and also to illustrate them visually. Now that we've decided that there would in fact be two volumes, can you tell me something about how you have approached the second volume, which consists of essays that you have written? The second volume really retraces roots and influences and moves through also into Alpine, very much about the Engadine tradition, an extraordinary tradition of architecture, linking that to the work of, of artists and inevitably how that touches me as an individual and either consciously or subconsciously uh, what I do as a, as a designer. What I have noticed working with you is that you have taken to heart not only the contents in terms of the choice of images, but also the graphic design, the layout. Well, I found myself cropping images, relating, uh, finding relationships visually between perhaps a photographic elevation and then a, a sectional perspective and juxtaposing the two in ways that I haven't really seen before. So uh, really using design to try and visually communicate as intuitively, instinctively as possible. And then of course, that is then elaborated by the text so that you can, you can move more deeply into the subject. And, and also thinking of turning the pages rather like a film. So there's a tempo. So uh, some pages are very expansive um, and you allow a double page spread and you turn the page and then it's very dense. So that pace, that, that contrast is, is also an interesting factor in, in thinking about the design of the book.